Good morning, seventh grade. Welcome to today's lesson. I hope you had a good weekend. Today is April 19, and it's Sunday. We are in Unit 7, Lesson 1, page 80. Today we will learn about was and were. For example, these are past tense of is and are. So I would say I was, you were, if I'm speaking in past tense. We will learn about how to use this word, ago. And we will learn about the words at and in. This lesson is about a town called Pompeii. Pompeii is an old uh, city. Pompeii was um, a city by a mountain. And one day there was a volcano. The mountain exploded with fire and burned the city. So there are just some walls and some houses, but it burned everything. This was a long time ago, but it's called Pompeii. So let's read this conversation. I will say and you repeat, okay? Presenter. Bob, was Pompeii an important town? Bob. No, it wasn't. The town was quite small. We think there were about 10,000 people here. But Pompeii was full of beautiful houses. Presenter. The presenter is the person telling everyone about the town. Presenter. Were they like our houses? Bob. Yes and no, some things were different. Presenter. For example, Bob. Well, in the dining rooms, there were tables, but there weren't any chairs. And there were cups, plates and spoons, but there weren't any knives and forks. Presenter. And were there any shops in Pompeii? Bob. Yes, there were shops and restaurants and there was a big theater too. Pompeii was a great place. Then one day there was an explosion. Presenter. An explosion? Bob. Yes, a few kilometers away, there was a volcano called Vesuvius. One afternoon at two o'clock, there was a loud explosion. So this is the story of Pompeii, an old city that was destroyed by a volcano, a mountain with fire. These kids are watching a TV presentation about Pompeii. On the TV, he says, I'm standing in the middle of Pompeii in the south of Italy. Pompeii was a Roman town 1900 years ago. Bob Cranzi, an expert on Roman history, is with me. Have you ever watched a TV show about a place? It's like that. They are talking about a place in history. Look at the kids. <laughs> he looks very excited. She looks very interested, and he looks very sleepy. <laughs> this is Pompeii. Now, these words says now complete with wasn't or weren't. Wasn't or weren't. Wasn't is a short way of saying was not. 
We say wasn't for I wasn't, he wasn't, she wasn't. We use weren't for you weren't, we weren't, they weren't. And we also use wasn't with um, a name like Sarah wasn't or with a thing. It wasn't. I could say, my phone wasn't working. My phone wasn't working. Or I could say, these books weren't exciting. <laughs> these books weren't exciting. So let's answer these questions on your book right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. The first one, Pompeii, very big. Look at the story. Was Pompeii big or small? Each space must have either wasn't or weren't. Here, do we use wasn't or weren't? One, and it's a thing. Remember I said my phone? In the same way, Pompeii. So we say Pompeii wasn't very big. Repeat after me. Pompeii wasn't very big. Okay, number two. There, thousands of people in Pompeii. Now, thousands of people is plural, more than one. So do we use wasn't or weren't? Weren't. There weren't thousands of people in Pompeii. So again, just to review, I use wasn't for one thing, one person, for I, he, or she wasn't. I use weren't, were not, for they, more than one, we, you. So this is for one, this is for more than one. Okay, repeat after me. There weren't thousands of people in Pompeii. Now here it says there, Lots of beautiful houses in the town. Now, we look at the story. Here it says, Pompeii was full of beautiful houses, so yes. So we don't use wasn't or weren't. We will just use either was or were, because this is yes, not no. There was or there were. Well, beautiful houses is more than one. So we say there were lots of beautiful houses in the town. Repeat after me. There were lots of beautiful houses in the town. Number four. There any chairs in the dining rooms? Look at your story. Were there chairs in the dining rooms? All right, here it says there weren't any chairs. There weren't any chairs. So what goes here? Weren't. We use weren't because chairs is plural. If it was one chair, we would say wasn't, but chairs is plural, so we use weren't. Repeat after me. There weren't any chairs in the dining rooms. Good job. Number five, Pompeii near Vesuvius. Well, remember Vesuvius is the mountain that destroyed. Here it says they lived a few kilometers away. So is Pompeii one or many? Singular or plural? Pompeii is singular, one. So we use Pompeii. Do we use was or wasn't? Was or wasn't? was because it's true because Pompeii was near Vesuvius. So we could say Pompeii wasn't near the hook, <laughs> but we say Pompeii was, yes, near Vesuvius. And then here we have there, an explosion at two o'clock. So an explosion, is that one or more than one? One. So we use was, do we use wasn't or was? Was, there was an explosion at two o'clock. Repeat after me. 
there was an explosion at two o'clock. There was an explosion at two o'clock. Okay, so rewatch this if you don't understand. Remember, was for singular, I, he, she, it, or a name, were for plural, they, we, you, and we add oot if we mean no. So was is yes, wasn't is no, were is yes, there were people in the town. There weren't people uh, on the mountain, okay? Wasn't, weren't. Page 81. Part two, grammar file. Um, so let's look at this grammar together. So the past simple, remember present simple, I am a teacher, you are a student, he is your brother. We use am, are, is. But that's if it's present, what if it's past? What if I was a student five years ago? I don't say am, I say was. I am a teacher now. I was a student five years ago. So here it says, if we say I, he, she, or it, we say was or wasn't. If we say we, you, or they, we say were or weren't. For example, I was a teacher. You were young. We weren't friends. They weren't, um, they weren't at home. Okay, these are all good examples of was, were, and weren't. Um, is this correct? Can I say she were a teacher? Nope. Can I say she was a teacher? Yeah. Can I say we wasn't home? Can I say we was home? No, see we is here, was and wasn't is here. So I must say we weren't home. Can I say you was at school? You was at school? Nope. What do I say instead? You were at school. Can I say she weren't home? Can I say he weren't home? I weren't home? Nope, I must say I wasn't home. He wasn't home. She wasn't home. In this grammar section, we also learn about these question words. Were you? I could ask, were you at home? Were you at school? Were you busy? If I'm asking a question that's in the past, for example, I could say, are you busy? That means now, are you busy? But if I want to say yesterday, yesterday, to he, in Gertie, yesterday, were you busy? Was she busy? Was it busy? Um, so this is using were and was. I can also use it with wasn't. So wasn't she home? Wasn't he at school? Wasn't it fun? Um, which is basically the same way as saying was she home, but it has more of a negative connotation to it. This means, uh, wasn't she home like she should be? Wasn't she home? She should be. Or wasn't he at school? This is kind of like shock or this is negative. Like he should be, but wasn't he? Wasn't it fun is like we come back from a park and it was very fun. So I say, wasn't it fun? 
So these all kind of have more of a negative. If I say, wasn't she home? Wasn't he at school? Wasn't it fun? Weren't they busy? These are more like questions, like, were you busy? Was she busy? Was it busy? Were you home? But if I want to say, uh, wasn't, then it's, it's more like I already know the answer, and I'm kind of like shocked. Wasn't she home? She should be. Wasn't he at school? He should be. Wasn't it fun? <laughs> or weren't they busy? I say it more uh, with more of a negative feeling. These are just questions. Okay, so for example, I could ask you, were you home today? You would say, yes, I was. You say was because you use the word I. I always goes with was. What if you were not home? Then you would say, no, I wasn't. Were you home today? No, I wasn't. I could say, weren't they doing school? And you could say, no, they weren't. Weren't they doing school? No, they weren't. So it's just good for you to remember, memorize that was and wasn't goes with I, he, she, it, were and weren't goes with we, you, and they. And remember with questions, these are just basic questions. Was, were, but if I use wasn't, weren't, then it's more negative. Like I already know the answer and I'm kind of shocked. Okay, so here are some mistakes um, in this paragraph. Let's see if we can correct the mistakes. Um, I will read and you listen and follow with your eyes. Marcus was 14 years old. At 2 p.m. 1900 years ago, he were in the kitchen. His father was in the garden and his mother were in the hall. His sister Livia were in the dining room and his grandfather was in the bedroom. Octavia the cook were in the kitchen. These are saying where all the people were right before Vesuvius exploded and destroyed Pompeii and killed everyone. What are the four mistakes in this paragraph? Pause the video and try to find them. Okay, did you find all four mistakes? Let's see. The first mistake is here. He were in the kitchen. If we use he, we must use was in the kitchen. His father was in the garden and his mother were in the hall. This is the next mistake. His mother was in the hall. His sister Livia were in the dining room and his grandfather was in the kitchen, was in the bedroom. Where's the mistake in this sentence? Again, instead of were, it should be was because it's one person, Livia, a girl. Octavia the cook were in the kitchen. What should this say? Was in the kitchen. So remember, was and wasn't, go with these words. Were and weren't, go with these words. Now I will ask you a question and you read this answer. Was Marcus in the kitchen? Was his father in the garden? Was his mother in the bedroom? You try it. Create some questions using this um, story. It's in your book on page 81. And use was or were. I think all of them would be was because it's all one person. So I could say, was Marcus 14 years old? Yes. Was he in the kitchen? Yes, he was. Was his father in the garden? Yes, he was. So you try, make some questions and, and answer them yourself. Listen and repeat these sentences. There was an explosion. We know this happened in the past. It's not now, it's the past because I use was. There was an explosion. Repeat this word again. Explosion. Explosion. Three syllables. Explosion. Number two. I say you repeat. Was she in the garden? 
This is a good question. I have the question word was or were, the subject she, because I have she, I use was, not were. And then I have this phrase, in the garden. In the garden. In the garden. This is a good answer to this question. I say you repeat. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. I say you repeat. He was 14. He was 14. This is a short way of saying he was 14 years old, his age. Um, but I can simply say he was 14 and people will understand. Now, um, I could ask you this question. How old were you last year? How old were you last year? Why do I use were and not was? Because I have you. Repeat after me, how old were you last year? And you would say, I was 12, maybe 13. These are two prepositions, at and in. We use in for rooms. I am in the kitchen. I am in my house. I am in the store. I am in the garden. So in is used for inside of one item, one, one area. We use at sometimes though. We use at if it's plural. For example, I was at the shops. There's more than one. I was at the shops. We use at for school, not in. I was at school. And we use at for home. So these are things you'll just have to remember. Most of the time we use in, but if it's plural, such as shops, or if it's school or home, we use at. Repeat these sentences after me. I was at home. We were at school. I was at the shops. In. We were in the garden, uh, in the kitchen. I was in the garden. We were in the park. If I wanted to say these like negative, like not, we weren't in the park. I wasn't in the garden. We weren't in the kitchen. Okay, that's the difference. So this is true, yes, and weren't or wasn't is no. This question asks, where were you at three o'clock three days ago? That's hard to remember, but because of Corona, I can say I was at home <laughs> three days ago. You were at home probably. This question says, where were you yesterday? I want you to write where you were yesterday. You were probably at home, but maybe you were in different rooms. For example, yesterday I was at home. At eight o'clock, I was in the kitchen. At 12 o'clock, I was in the living room. Notice how I use at for home, in for rooms. I also use at for time, you know that. If I say what time is it, you say eight o'clock. If you're talking about a specific time, you say at eight o'clock um, in a sentence. Repeat after me. Yesterday, I was at home. At eight o'clock, I was in the kitchen. At 12 o'clock, I was in the living room. You write, where were you yesterday? For homework, you can also do Unit 7, Lesson 1 in your activity book, pages 78 and 79. Do parts 2, 3, and 5. In part 2, you will complete these with either was or were. Either was or were in each of these spaces. In part three, you will also complete these with either was or were. So you have, I'm in the USA on Monday. So start out with the time on Monday. Arnie was in the USA. Here we have, um, in person, I'm in Spain, Tuesday. So we say on Tuesday, 
Astrid was, it's past, was in Spain. So do that for each of these. Um, in part five, you will complete this with either at or in. If you don't know, try to guess, but um, remember at for school, home, or plural, and in for most other locations. Um, yeah, so complete number five, and we'll talk about it on Tuesday. It's kind of hard, but do your best. Um, continue reviewing at and in. You can also look at your book. Um, here, there's a nice chart that you can follow. I was at, and these go with at. I was in, and these go with in. So practice making sentences with this as well. And I will see you tomorrow for our next video lesson. We will be in Unit 7, Lesson 2. We are almost finished with this book. Um, send me your homework, and I will see you on Tuesday for the live class at 1 o'clock. Thank you for joining me. Bye, everyone.